Hey Hydro Gardeners, it's Charlie here from Proponics and today we're going to run through a really crucial aspect of hydroponic gardening which is hydroponic system running costs. It's an area that a lot of people are unsure about so we'll go through some of the basics and then we'll cover how to calculate the running cost of your appliances. So, you're thinking about setting up your own hydroponic system. You've heard it uses less water, but what about the costs? To run a hydroponic system efficiently, you'll need a constant supply of water, nutrients and electricity, all of which cost money. First, let's talk water. In hydroponics, your reservoir is filled with a nutrient solution, a mix of water and nutrients. Plants absorb some and some evaporates, so you'll be topping it up every two to three days. Now, tap water isn't your best friend here due to chemicals like chlorine being present. Instead, opt for filtered or distilled water. If tap water is your only option, fear not. Leave it in the sun for 24 hours, which will cause the chlorine to evaporate or use a chlorine remover. Next, adjust the pH with pH up or down solutions and in hard water areas, grab a water softener. But let's be real, purifying tap water can be a chore. And that's why often the simplicity of bulk distilled water is the way to go. Now, let's do the maths. Your reservoir size depends on your plant count. Roughly speaking, small plants need 1.5 to 2 liters, mediums need 3 to 5 liters, and large plants need 10 liters. Say you have a 50 liter reservoir. You would need 50 liters of water to fill it up, and then you would add another 50 liters when topping it up over the course of two to three weeks. You would then need to make a full water change, which means you will need another 50 liters of water. In addition to that, you'll need some water to clean and flush your system, which is another 50 liters. You'll need 250 to 350 liters of water monthly, depending on how often you change it. So let's calculate costs. If you're using tap water, check your utility bills for the tariff. On average, you might pay around £1.80 per cubic meter. Water filtering systems like reverse osmosis come with additional costs, so factor in filter replacements. Distilled water can be pricey, but buying in bulk will always save you money. Don't forget the extras. Chlorine remover at about £15 for 250 milliliters can treat 5,000 liters. pH solutions at roughly £15 per liter. They're concentrated and will last quite a while. And ultimately, if you're serious about hydroponics, these are small investments for big returns in the long run. Now, regarding your nutrients, prices can vary, but on average, you might spend 10 to 15 pounds per litre. However, again, the more you buy in bulk, the more you save. Generally, you'll need one to two millilitres of nutrients per litre of water, making even a small bottle last a while. Find what works for your plants and consider buying in bulk to cut down on costs. Next up, your electricity costs. Grow lights, pumps, ventilation fans, your hydroponic system relies heavily on a constant flow of electricity. Electricity obviously varies depending on a multitude of factors, but here in the UK, it's currently around 52 pence per kilowatt hour, capped at 34 pence with the energy price guarantee. But remember, these rates can change, so always check your provider's website for the latest information. Calculating your total energy cost is pretty straightforward. Multiply the wattage of each device by the average amount of hours it's on. For instance, if your 1000 watt grow light runs for 14 hours daily, that's 14 kilowatt hours per day. Do this for all your devices, grow lights, pumps, fans, water heaters, etc. Then simply multiply your provider's cost per kilowatt hour by your appliance's total kilowatt hour value. So a 14 kilowatt hour per day appliance at a cost of 52 pence per kilowatt hour would cost seven pounds 28 per day to run. Finding the wattage is a breeze. Just check your device's owner's manual or often it's right on the device. If you can't find it, then hit the internet. Search your device's brand and model number for the wattage info. And with that, you have a general understanding on how to evaluate the total running costs of your hydroponic system. Focus on minimizing costs by buying in bulk and check out our video on grow room wall materials to discover how to maximize the efficiency of your grow lights output.
If you like what you just saw, go ahead and click the link in the description to find a full detailed article on this video's topic. And if you learned something new today, hit that like button and let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more hydroponics educational content and visit proponics.co.uk for in-depth articles on all things hydroponics. Grow smarter with proponics. And until next time, happy growing.